a uh, Andrea and says, look at pound yen and gold. I sure will. I'll, you know what? We'll go through all the yen crosses, actually. Um, actually, I don't think I looked at dollar yen. So, yeah, we'll do that. Let's look at, let's go to these yen crosses real fast. So, I'll go to euro yen. First. So, euro yen, we nailed a big, big, big spot. Let's go to this weekly chart here. Um, big spot. Right, 10 year trend line. We nailed it. We took out the high from, um, was that 2018? Um, and then we have kind of started to come off a little bit. Look at all the candles up here again. Uh, the best way to explain all this yen trade is it's very emotional, and I do think that we pull back some if we do then you've got uh, a pretty good looking support line at like 3270, okay? Pound yen. Again, weekly chart. See all the levels up here that go back uh, many, many years. And we took that out, right? Tagged it. This is a weekly chart starting to look pretty ugly if we close like that um you know 158.20 is going to be a level to pay attention to uh and we're frankly we are we almost got there today kiwi yen this is the chart we looked at last week right I think I put something on Twitter like, you know, this would be something to fade, but I'm not that dumb yet. Um, maybe it's time to be dumb now. I don't know. Um, we're getting, you have a little bit of dollar yen short on going on here, but, um, you know, we're starting to get, if again, the week is, we got two and a half days left, but we're starting to get some pretty big weekly candles up here. So, you know, that combined with, you know, the NASDAQ and equities having the run they did being up near resistance, maybe the next phase, um, you know, is is something of the, more along the lines of a traditional risk off and we actually get bonds to rip. And that's something else to look at. Like, all right, check this out. So I'm going to go to U.S. 10 year. OK, we're going to go to 10 year yield. All right. Here's a daily chart. OK. Here's a weekly chart. All right, so here's that. Here's that yield chart. Um, why don't I add in yen dollar to this? Because that would be the correlation, right? Oops, sorry, dollar yen, not yen dollar. What's wrong with me? Dollar yen. Pretty darn close, right? So. You know, if we if you think that maybe you're going to start to come off in yields, um, which I kind of do, um, then, you know, there's a currency trade there. And let's go to dollar yen. I've been throwing these charts up on Twitter the last couple of days. And really, it's been a pretty simple trade. Like, you know, you always hear. You know, don't. Um, you know, don't try to call the turn or whatever, right? Or, you know, this, this, that, and the other. Um, yeah, I get it. Like, you're not trying to be the smartest guy around, but like we had, I'm sorry, but like when you had, you know, on a Monday, you know, go to 125 and change. Um, and frankly, you just look across the chart. You know, it looks like a pretty big level for resistance to me um, in dollar yen. So we got that. And then, yeah, let it marinate for a day or so, whatever. Okay, the market, we started to come off. Um, great. Again, throw that VWAP from the top up there. Great. You know, you didn't even have to get involved for three or four, you know, a couple of days. You know, like this was last night. We actually had this in our update, right? Looking to sell 
2315 to 2350, right? We traded 2320, boom, okay? Uh, I happen to think that you're going to have support around 120, 40. Uh, we've actually been kind of marking down all the 40s for whatever reason, but like, you know, 21, 40, 22, 40, 20, 40, 20, 40 is a good spot. Um, this is kind of your, what I call original trend line from like the launch off point. Um, and then of course you've got this low down here, right? So it's just a good spot. Uh, but yeah, that's a level to pay attention to on dollar yen. Let me remind you all, go to scandinavianmarkets.com slash get funded. It'll take you to this page here. Don't forget um, that we do have a revamped max trading um, program, okay? And it's open to, you know, it's open to anybody. You can come and get your, you know, get your assessment. Um, and we do have an assessment. It's right here. You can read about it now uh, read on this page. And you can get funded with up to $2 million over time. So... Um, you can start out with any amount you want, of course. And again, you're trading our, our money and there is no time constraint. So come check this out. Again, scandinavianmarkets.com slash get funded. All right. All righty. Okay. So that's it. Jamie Setley here signing off and good luck.